in this problem, uh, part A, given that r squared plus r minus 1 over r, r plus 1 is equal to a plus b lots of 1 over r, take away 1 over r plus 1, find the values of a and b, and then part b, hence find the value of this. So let's deal with part a first. Now, uh, I can think of a couple of different ways of doing this. Uh, you could use uh, some polynomial division here, um, and then partial fractions. Um, I think it would be a lot easier if we just multiply both sides by the r, r plus 1. So what we can say then for part a is that r squared plus r minus 1, so multiplying that by r times r plus 1, so multiplying by that denominator, is going to be equal to, so we're going to have a lots of r times r plus 1, plus b lots of, so... In our bracket, we're going to have 1 over r times that, so we're just going to be left with r plus 1. And then take away 1 over r plus 1 times r, r plus 1, it's just going to be take away r. So we've got r squared plus r minus 1 is equal to a r, r plus 1, plus b lots of 1, so plus b. Now really, really there should be a, an equivalency symbol here, but... Uh, um, I did get, get this from an exam question, but um, we'll just keep going with it. We won't, we won't worry too much about that. So what about this next bit then? Um, so we've got to find the values of a and b. So you could do uh, comparing coefficients if you wanted to. I'm going to substitute some values in. So let's substitute in r is 0. So minus 1 on the left-hand side. Uh, that's going to knock out that term, so that means that b must be minus 1. And let's just choose another value that I can substitute in. So let's try 1. So r is 1. The left-hand side, we're going to have 1 plus 1 take away 1. So that's 1. We're going to have 1 times 2. So 2 lots of a. And b, I already know, is minus 1. So adding the 1 to both sides. So that means that a has got to be 1. OK, so we've got our a and we've got our b. OK. Right, so now that we've got our a and b, we're going to go on to part b. So hence find the value of this. So the summation from r is 1 to 99 of r squared plus r minus 1 over r, r plus 1. OK? Right, so that's the summation from r is 1 to 99 of. So we've written, rewritten this in that form. So let's substitute that in. So we've got the 1 for a, then the b is minus 1. So take away uh, all of that. So take away 1 over r, and I'm going to multiply through as well, so we'll get plus uh, 1 over r plus 1. OK? So let's start substituting numbers in. So when r is 1, we're going to have 1 take away 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. Now you might notice that I, uh, in the last couple of videos as well, I've been I've not been simplifying things like one over one until kind of late, later on in the problem. The reason for that is that I'm trying to leave the fractions unsimplified because it's quite often easier to spot when things cancel if you haven't simplified the fractions. So it's a good rule of thumb to follow that. Right, let's substitute in R is two. So I get 1 take away 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. And then substitute in R is 3. Uh, we're going to get 1 take away 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus a load of other terms. And then, because uh, I'm going up to 99 here, so let's substitute in 97, a couple of terms down. Um, so 1 take away 1 over 97 plus 1 over 98. Uh, then we can have 1 take away 1 over 98 plus 1 over 99. And then finally, 1 take away 1 over 99 plus 1 over 100. OK? So let's see if we can spot the cancellations. So we've clearly got a half cancelling with minus a half there. We've got the third cancelling with minus a third. And we can have the quarter cancelling with a later quarter. OK? Uh, we're going to have the minus 1 over 97 cancelling with a 1 over 97 in the previous term. The 1 over 98 is going to cancel there. The 1 over 99 is going to cancel there. So what have I got left? Well, I've got 
one appearing. Um, well, first, second, third, uh, 97th, 98th, 99th. So I'm uh, having one appear 99 times. So 99 times one. I've got this take away one over one, okay, that's happening as well, plus the one over 100 that is left on the end. So I've got 98 plus 1 over 100. So what's that? Well, 98, um, so 9,800 plus 1. So 9,801 over 100. Okay. Now, we can check that. So on my calculator using the summation button, okay, I'll type this in. So we've got, uh, I've got to use x, so x squared plus x take away 1 over x, x plus 1. And I'm going from x is 1 up to 99. Okay. And I get 9801 over 100. Same answer. Okay. So that's how we can uh, work through this problem involving the method of differences.